Hello there, my beautiful collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, collective? You can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling, oh, collective. How's it going? How's it going? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful collective. Collective, what's going on? We got one word. Look at this. I love this. I love this. Elevation. <sighs> You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Oh, I know it. I can feel you all are in that energy. I know you all are. I can feel it. Elevating, right? Sending out that peace, love, and light. Whew. We all need it, right? Especially now. Let's pull something from the New Orleans tarot deck here. Oracle deck. Spiritual knowledge, 29. Uh, 2 plus 9 goes to 11, right? That maze of energy, right? That maze work that you go through. That sort of concentrated energy, right? Getting to that all-seeing eye. That spiritual journey, which sometimes seems to kind of backtrack and go every which way, right? You can navigate it. Elevation energy here, right? Spiritual knowledge. Growing, elevating, sending out that peace, love, and light. Conquering the negative energies. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, collective. I love it. So, what's going on? Oh, I'm looking at the lyrical life notes. Y'all want to throw a song on this? Shall we throw a song? See what music wants to come out? Ooh, hopefully no torch songs. But look at that, moving away from heartache. I like that, I like that. Uh, finding that healed space, finding that healed space. Mm, you're finding that healed space. Ooh. But as you move away, others could be feeling that heartbreak, right? I gotta tell you, I do feel like the next uh, energy wave coming in, y'all, is gonna be that emotional manipulation. So, uh, it's like the Trojan horse. Some of them wanna come in and uh, unleash that negative energy. So, you know... Just be mindful of that, folks. Just be mindful of that. That's how you're going to be tested. I keep telling y'all, your asses are going to be tested. Whew. Throw us a song on this. What what music do we got going on here? Oh, we got some of these mixed. Uh-oh. Some are upside down. Give us a song, Spirit. 313 on the phone as I said that. What's going on? Give us some music. Oh, I like that. It's the eye of a tiger, it's the thrill of the fight, rising up to the challenge of our rival. Good old Rocky, right? Fuck yeah. Survivor there. That reminds me of Kitty, you all. Kitty has been such a little <clears throat> pain in my ass, okay? I bet I've about tripped over him about three, four times tonight. He's just been everywhere. Ooh, I love my fur baby, but damn. And he'll just walk and stop, y'all. He just stops. It's like, Kitty, you know, you, you don't want to knock him over, but it's like, Kitty, you can't do that shit. Five of Pentacles. Someone's out in the cold. Someone, this is that spiritual. Spiritually, people are out in the cold, okay? Now, that don't mean your ass walks into church, but, right? Some people don't know uh, Jesus. They don't know a higher being. Uh, they just don't know. Here's that healed energy. Because a lot of you have overcome that, right? You found your spiritual grounding, whatever that is for you guys, right? I know I'm a spiritual person. I read the tarot cards, but you guys, I love science. I love to watch the engineering channels. I love all that stuff. I'm all about the science around things as well. You can have a healthy mix, right? King of Swords energy. Whew. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, well, you know, I have to admit this King of Swords is checking out someone's ass right there, okay? So you got someone paying attention here. 
who's paying attention. Fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm, what's between this Five of Pentacles and the Star card? The Page of Cups. Yeah, the healed energy can help others, right? When you're healed, you can give that cup of love. That's when you have that heart chakra open. You can afford to, to give freely of your energy. You know how to sort of protect it. You know how to replenish it, right? But you also got to watch out for the energy vampires. Knight of Pentacles. That's Kitty coming down the steps. He makes more noise than Jackie does. Seven of Wands. Yeah, this is sort of that decision here. Are you going to go back to the past? Are you going to heal past relationship situations? Or are you going to move forward? You got a decision to make. You do have your guard up here. You're being very protective right now. Because you know you got that decision. Right? This is that emotional obligations for some of you. Financial, just helping out however it works out, right? Some of you are going to be at that impasse trying to figure out what your next move is going to be. Do you go back to the past? Five of Pentacles and the Star card is a Seven of Swords. Uh, you learned. What did you learn? Hindsight's twenty twenty. Two of Pentacles. There is definitely stagnation here. You're wanting to. You're wanting to make a move. You're definitely ready to make a move. You know you need to do something. This isn't your energy. This could be someone that you're dealing with. What's crowning this is this Nine of Cups. So you're trying to figure out here how to, how to make your next move, what your next move should be. That's going to be smart and uh, going to still follow that sort of uh, star energy, that sort of healed energy, right? What do you give to? But you are teetering there between that Seven of Swords and that Nine of Cups. Seven of Swords is your wiser for the road, right? Seven of Swords is, you know, he goes into the army camp and, and still some other sword. So, you know, he's he's helping his, uh, his people out by, uh, you know, disarming uh, the enemy. Then you got this Nine of Cups, this person sitting here. All them cups are full, right? Where do you go? What do you do with that? Where do you hide your heart? Okay, so someone's still protected. There's the lover's card. Who do you give your allegiance to? Who's, who's, uh, who deserves that sort of uh, unconditional love there? This feels like your openness, openness to, you know, give that out. Uh, <laughs> Nine of Wands, that sort of wounded, uh, wounded energy. Oh, nine, nine there, right? But you can't always heal uh, everyone that's wounded. You got to pick and choose. Tower moment here. The tower between, yeah. That's going to be the issue going in, right? You're going to have them choices to make. A lot of you, are you going to go back? Is is now the time to go back? Some of you, if you're still unsure, right? Six to six to 12 months. You don't have to go back on anything immediately right now. Take the time that you need because you're still figuring out where you want to give to, what you want to focus on, where your energy is best well spent, right? You've gotten to your Nine of Cups by being smart here with that Seven of Swords. 
So now as you're moving forward, that that nine of wands is, is someone else. The nine of wands and the seven of wands here. With the nine of cups and the seven of swords. 79 could mean something. 97 could mean something. What crosses that tower a moment? Judgment. Mm, yeah, that's that energy, guys and gals. You got to watch where you put your time and energy and attention. What bridge is that Nine of Wands and that King of Wands? The Queen of Cups. What cross is this Lover's card and the uh, Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles? What covers the Ace of Pentacles, Judgment, and the Queen of Cups? The Six of Cups. Ouch. There's that reconciliation energy. Doesn't have to be someone that you know, though. King of Swords. King of Swords is a protector energy. King of Swords is your protector. Some of you are going to be pretty amazed when this energy comes out. You showed up in a lot. King of Swords, Queen of Swords energy, right? It's just that Swords energy. Uh, someone who is a smart, intelligent. Someone who is able to uh, navigate. A lot of you, that's the energy you're going to be calling it. A King of Swords energy. Someone who is truthful, who is honest, who is stable who is intelligent, who makes smart choices. They kind of embody that Archangel Michael energy. They're a fighter, but not in a physical sense. They're intellectually able to do what they need to do. You know what I mean? Mm. so you do have this choice what do you give to who do you give to now you do need to get out there you need to have that heart chakra open you do need to get out there and date you need to be this queen of cups energy overflowing love sending it out there you have to be in that energy masculine or feminine it don't matter the gender it don't matter the gender here And that's when the blessings come. But for a lot of you, I've been saying this in a lot of readings, it's going to be a king or queen of swords that you're actually going to meet. Someone that you're able to build with and grow with because they're smart. They're able to do what they need to do, right? If they don't know the answers, they'll look the shit up. Um, you know, the sort of fire sign energy is good. But at the end of the day, you need someone who can think, who can think things through, who can use their words, who can communicate. Masculine or feminine, it don't matter the energy. You need a communicator. That's how you build strong relationships, strong partnerships, communication. Someone who can speak, use their words. Two of Cups and that King of Cups, because they're a, they're a King of Swords, is also a King of Cups. They're going to be emotionally a match to the Queen of Cups. Page of Swords, they've been watching. Someone has been watching, but for a lot of you, you have no fucking idea who this is. Temperance Angel, look at that. They are, they are like an Earth Angel. They are like an Earth Angel. They're a match to your energy. They can recharge themselves the same way you can. They're able to, to do that. 
It's a healed energy. You know, two people that can recharge themselves when they get together. Man, that's just, it's just beautiful energy. It's healed energy. It's the way partnership should be. There's no codependency here, right? You both, you know, charge yourself. You're both able to do what you need to do. Sagittarius energy. Mm, see, don't you love that? that? That true energy. Someone that can take care of themselves. Two people that can take care of themselves. That can speak. That can have the conversations. That are emotion. That can speak on their emotions. That communicate. It is that. King of Swords with the Pages. Or just someone's been watching you. Someone's been watching them watching you. It is that protector energy. It's that earth angel energy. Temperance is the Ten of Wands. Someone that works to bring balance too. The Hierophant. Through their spirituality. Through what they do. Is a person that has some sort of spirituality. They, they're they connected. They're connected to, you know, that source. Mm. I keep telling y'all it's coming in, but you're not going to believe whoever the hell that King of Swords is. I'm going to tell you all that right now. You are not going to believe it. Smart, intelligent, they can use their words, they're emotive. Um, it's going to be a whole different kind of situation than what you've ever been used to. They're a healed energy. For some of you, you know, that could be what they do for a living. They help people, they help. They're not afraid to get out there and do the work. And they do a lot of heavy lifting, so they know what the hell is up. But they do it from a beautiful healed space. Whew. Lord have mercy collective. I love this energy. Elevation. I'm a high priestess. Look at that. Spiritually y'all are a map. We got the, the masculine and the feminine energies right here. Look at that. You match on a spiritual level as well. You're both healer energies. You're both healer energies. The Hierophant and the High Priestess? You can't get no fucking better than that. That's what you call a spiritual blessing. Dare we throw one more? King of Pentacles. Stability. Three of Wands. Nine of Swords. Oh. A look at that. The Hierophant is Taurus, right? King of Pentacles is a Earth sign energy. Three of Wands and that Nine of Swords. Something's holding up a connection. Why? Why? What's this Nine of Swords about? Four of Cups. How to make the offer. Queen of Swords. Nine of Cups. Someone's blocking it. A Queen of Swords is blocking it. So, you know, maybe for some of you, your person has to get single first. Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords with the Four of Cups there. So, you know, that's why you got to go off and keep living your life. Because people still got to do what the hell they got to do. You got a cock blocker here. The Emperor. The Hangman. And the Moon card. Aries, 
What's that moon card about? Five of Swords. Four of Swords. Strength card. Well, that's that Earth Angel energy. This person can't come forward because they're still working on something. Sleeper cell energy. Someone's still working on something. Someone's still working on something. That's why they can't come in. The Hermit. <laughs> I'm telling you, you guys, these King and Queen of Swords energy are going to be uh, a lot of people's Earth Angel energies. You're going to be amazed. There's a lot of people doing a lot of good work in the background that's not noticed. They work in silence. They work in silence. They work in silence. <laughs> Ace of Swords to get to the truth. Damn. Y'all, I love this energy, but that is totally uh, the energy out there. Earth Angel energy. The right people finding the right people. But y'all are going to have that, that sort of come back around energy. Whatever negativity is flowing out there or was flowing, it's just switching to something more conventional which is just downright emotional manipulation. That's what it's going to come down to. You can't beat them, join them, and then, you know, kind of wreak havoc within. You know what I mean? A lot of you, this is going back to your weak points, where you need to work on, where you need to focus, uh, what your love language is. Have you grown? 2211 when I said that. Have you grown out of your uh, toxic love language? Or are you still into that sort of energy? It's like Seven of Cups energy. Uh, you know, are you going to be able to choose? Do you know what you want? Are you going to be able to have your guard up? Uh, Seven of Wands, have them healthy boundaries up and be very mindful that no one crosses them. That's Jackie. She just walked in the room. Because there's the Empress. The Emperor protecting his Empress. The Hierophant the High Priestess, the Emperor, and the Empress. Now, when's this shit gonna happen, y'all? <laughs> it might be a while. Uh, someone's definitely doing some work. That's why they can't come forward. They're just looking from afar. That's all they can do right now. That's all they can do right now. But they're protecting the Empress. Masculines, you can fix, uh, switch the energies. For some of you, this is you moving towards who you want to move towards, right? It is such a beautiful energy. I want you doing the work you need to do. Just be mindful of this energy, guys and gals. You don't need to harp on it. Just so you know, because I've been telling y'all, y'all going to have to get tested. And some of y'all, the test is going to be this sort of emotional manipulation. What are you going to do? You're going to go back and try to fix situations? Or are you focusing on moving forward to something more tangible? It's going to be that decision you got to make. You got to be able to, you know, keep your boundaries up. Keep your healthy boundaries up, right? It's a beautiful energy. Someone is looking at your ass. This kitty goes running across the room. Anything else you want the collective to know? So stay positive, y'all. Just know this manipulation is coming around, but, you know, it's all good. Yeah, for some of you, that that, that judgment coming in with the... the Ace of Pentacles there and that Two of Cups energy. 
When Spirit can bless two people at one time, that's the best way to go. That's Gabriel. That's Gabriel. So, stay happy, stay positive. For a lot of you, just know, there is someone out there working to come toward you. But they got a job to do first. But they're protecting you. So keep them prayers up. Keep that heart chakra open. Stay positive. Because um, that's like a collective energy. That's not just, you know, in one sort of area. The king of queens of swords are actually uh, going to be a lot of earth angel energies. You're going to see a lot of amazing things. But they are working in the background. They're busy at the moment. So, you know, keep focusing on you while you're waiting. Keep a good picture because someone's looking at your ass. They like what they see, okay? <laughs> you can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Oh. Earth Angel Energy. Stay happy, stay positive. Y'all got the heads up. You got this.